What is going on, people? It is your boy Mac Daddy Mac, and welcome to another Wi Fi battle. We are against Juice Lord, who's bringing a really interesting team. Um, right off the bat, I already know Clarex is a big threat, especially within the Trick Room, which looks like he has a Trick Room team, to be honest. For the most part, I mean, he has some very slow Pokemon, including the Clarex, the uh, Vaporeon, who isn't so fast, and the Lorantis. Chandelure is mid tier. Um, so. In case he decides to be smart and play the Nine Tails, I'm gonna start off the Excadrill. Excadrill does pretty good against um, a lot of his Pokemon, including the Noivern, because I am packing up that um, Rock Slide. Now, if worse comes to worse, really the only bad switch-ins um, or Pokemon that are in my opponent's side against Excadrill as a lead is going to be Vaporeon and the Lorantis. But even then. Um, I think we are solid. Um, really quick, we did do some changes on this team from last Wi-Fi battle because that last Wi-Fi battle, you guys should see it. So um, if you guys missed it, go check it out. But I went ahead and switched Focus Sash on my me and Xiao, just like it's supposed to be. I went ahead and gave the Moltres the weakness policy and SP on the choice specs. Um, really, those are the biggest changes that I've done with this team. Move sets are the same um for the most part if not exactly the same i don't remember if i made any changes on those um movesets there so yeah that's where we're at right now i'm very excited to start this wi-fi battle and let me just take a moment and i know i'm a little bit late as far as this goes if you follow me on instagram you know i was as soon as they were announced pokemon uh brilliant diamond and shining pearl remix were announced and i am very hyped let's talk about that Let's talk about Arceus. Um, I'm so excited to see that open world game. Um, I think it is being developed by Game Freak, if I recall. And by the way, he started Nine Tails just exactly like I wanted him to. But um, I'm very excited to see the approach Game Freak is going to take as far as the Arceus game goes. So um, I I'm just excited. Right overall, I'm pretty excited. Easy KO. No need to worry about any any screens or anything like that, especially with the t the clay rex in the back that's a big that's a big um weight off my shoulders but anyways um diamond and pearl remakes a lot of people and reasonably so are not so found of the chibi style art that they went to and i 100 percent understand why um i myself wasn't too excited when i saw the art style but i was very um happy to see the diamond and pearl remakes come up and about um i think the chibi art the chibi arts is going to be a little bit getting used to at least for me so there there is that um that's just basically how i feel about it on my end here so back to the battle we are going to do some so um not sword and shield some diamond and pearl wi-fi battles once the games come out and i i do a let's play things of that nature so that's what we're going to do that is what we're gonna do. Um, unfortunately, he gets his defense and attack up, which is not very good for me, to be quite honest. Um, I'm gonna fake out, just because it's the best move that I have. Um, if worse comes to worse, he switches out into Chandelure. I'm just gonna U-turn out of there. I, I should outspeed it anyways. Um, but yeah, um, let's talk about Post Malone's concert. Um, that was kind of cool. My daughter was really dancing to that. Um, it was really cool to see an animated version of Post Malone and of course the um, Just just the Pokemon around him that that was very very cool to see and I really hope that Pokemon does that again in the future Um, what is this Lumberry? I mean citrus berry. It looks like citrus berry. Yes, sir. It is okay So there's that at least we know it's not assault best um, I really want to try to go into Espeon, though. I don't think I have a bunch of attacks that, that can work against it. Um, let me see. Let me think. Uh, let me think really quick. Part of me wants to go out into my boy Moltres. I can. I should be able to take an attack from this thing. And no, I'm not going to threaten it with a. I think I should threaten it with a hurricane, but I don't think I am going to. <gasps> I forgot. I'm a Dark type. Am I? I'm a dark flying. That's right. Okay, at least I'm neutral against it. Mostly because I'm a flying type. So, got a little bit lucky there. Got to play a little bit more careful for this next time around. Fiery Wrath is very tempting. I think that's the best attack I got to go against this thing. So, we're going to just Fiery Wrath here. Um, I know he has Clarex in the back. Clarex should be weak to um, my Fiery Wrath. 
Um, another Pokemon that is weak to it is Chandelure. I almost messed up the pronunciation to that. Um, I forgot what other Pokemon he has in the back aside from those two. He has a, I know he has a Vaporeon. So that's one, so that's one, two, three, four. Who's your last Pokemon? Who's that one Pokemon I'm not taking into consideration? Aside from the Ninetales, because we already know that's knocked out. I could have Nasty Plot here. I should have Nasty Plotted here. Okay, this is going to be very interesting. I'm going to fire Wrath here. Uh, let's see how much damage this does. Not very much, as you can see. Obviously, Weakness Policy is not going to come into effect here. I'm very curious to see what this Viporeon got, um, has in store for me. I really am interested. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I think Moltres is still very valuable to me. Oh, Noivern is the other Pokemon I wasn't taking into consideration. Moltres is definitely very valuable to me. Not necessarily against the Clairex because Clairex has very, very high um, special defense. But I feel like... If I come in here, fake out. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try to hit the fake out. I don't know what you're gonna try to go into, to be honest. We're gonna try to just U turn, actually, because if I don't want. Oh, well, if he comes into Chandelure. Okay, yeah, we're definitely U turning here. We'll get played by my opponent's end. Forces me to switch out. And I'm honestly just going to U turn here. Maybe he's running the protect. I got a feeling he's running protect, so because of that. I'm actually going to go out into Espeon. I think that's a good play. I, I have, I mean, given how much damage Moltres did to it, I, I have a feeling it's more invested into special defense. There you go. Then it is into the attack. So I'm obviously not going to grass not here because Vaporeon is not very heavy. So the base power to um, the grass nut is just not worth it, in my opinion. But I do want to go into the Psy Shock. So that, that's what we're going to do. See how much damage it does. We are Specs. So I got a feeling this is at least going to do some good damage. So let's see. Let's see what you got. Not exactly what I was expecting, to be honest. Magic bounces the yawn. I didn't know it. I didn't even know it could do that. I know magic bounced everything else, but I didn't think it would with the yawn. So that's actually pretty good for me. Now he's either going to let Vaporeon go down or he has to switch out. No matter what, Psyshock is going to do some damage on anything. If he decides to switch, it's a free damage on something. So, all right, what do we got? Vaporeon goes down. It's a crit! That might have mattered. That might have mattered a little bit. I'm going to say that mattered. Wow. Wow, I would have been kind of upset if I were my opponent and I yawned and uh, forgot about Magic Bounce being a thing. I really would. Lorantis comes out. I don't know how I feel about this. I really don't. I really don't know. So I'm just going to Psyshock Shock hope for the best. Come on. I know for a fact we outspeed already. But come on, do some good damage. Is that another crit? It's not. That's just a natural KO. Espeon, my boy. Are you? I don't. I don't remember my own Espeon's gender. I feel kind of bad. Espeon, you beautiful creature. That's. I was gonna say my boy or my girl, but I. I, I feel bad. I don't know its gender. Man, I just want to pet Espeon. Just like I know you guys can't really see my 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 hand, but I just wanna. I just wanna pet it. I love Espeon. Look how crisp it looks. I'm a big fan. All right, what are you going to do? I think his name is Juice Lord. Yeah, Juice Lord. That, that sounds right. Man. Hmm. I mean, I got to think a little bit ahead. Chandelure does threaten me to an extent. I need to get a drink of water real quick. Um, Chandelure is probably going to be his best switch in, especially if it's specs. So Chandelure comes out just like I expected it to. Honestly, I feel pretty comfortable with letting go Jellicent. I don't really think we need the Jellicent in this battle. 
I think um, we got rid of all of his physical attackers except for Clayrex. But even at that, Clayrex doesn't really worry me because Moltres outspeeds it. I know I had some really crazy um, special defense, but I at least have a chance to flinch. What are you gonna do? Man, my team is more balanced than what I thought it would be. And I'm, I'm very proud of that. I'm very proud of that. All right, Espeon returns. If he predicts my Jellicent, he's making big boy plays. Don't go energy ball. Protect, oh, I'm cool with that. Honestly, I'm just gonna scald. I do not mind scalding. If you energy ball, I should be able to take at least one of them and I should be able to do a pretty good chunk with the scald. So you're obviously not specs, you're not scarfed. So I'm not I'm not really scared of the Chandelure as I should be. We use this hex, I should be able to take this. I'm taking this easy. All right, we take one just like I figured. This is a life orb Chandelure, so maybe this will knock out, if not next turn, with his own life orb. Uh, probably not with his own life orb, but... It is what it is. I mean, Jellicent did its job. It, it, take, it took an attack. In case I live, though, I'm recovering. It took an attack, and it did some pretty good damage off of, um, on, onto the Chandelure. So I am pretty happy as far as that goes. Now... Part of me does want to go into Moltres, but Noivern is a thing. So what I'm going to do, if Noivern comes out, I'm going to Dazzling Gleam here. I'm going to Dazzling Gleam. If he comes out into Clayrex, then I'm, a, in, I'm in a little bit of trouble, but nothing I cannot get out of. So I'm just going to Shadow Ball here in case he wants to go into uh, Clayrex this next turn. Psyshock would be a little bit more, um, it would be a little better if the Clayrex does come out because, like I said, Clayrex has a pretty massive special defense um, stat. I think it's base 135. But the reason I want to Shadow Ball is because, let's say Espeon, well, I know it's going to take out the Chandelure. Let's say Clayrex comes in next turn. What I'm going to do is I'll probably let Espeon go down. And then from there, I'll, um, I'm, I'm, I know I outspeed it, so I'm going to Shadow Ball. And then let Espeon go down. And I come into Excadrill and Sweep. And just knock out the remaining two Pokemon in his team. And that should be game. So as long as I play this right, and as long as no shenanigans happen, I should be okay. Alright, who is this? Noivern. Okay, so uh, my plan still stands. I'm going to Shadow Ball. I don't think I outspeed. I really don't think I'll speed. I think I'm base 110 and then 110 speed and then 130 special attack. So there's a rumor going out. I don't. I, it's. I have seen a lot of reports that it's confirmed, but I don't. Believe, I'm not gonna believe it until I hear it from Game Freak themselves or or Pokemon. I mean, Mega Evolution is going to come back into um, Diamond and Pearl. If it does, that's gonna be so fun. I'm a gen. I, I started competitive battling in Generation Six, so that's just very exciting to me. All right, I'm just gonna switch into Excadrill. Espeon is too valuable for me, especially for him to go to go Draco Meteor and for me to live an attack. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna just Excadrill. We're going to hit the Iron Head, and it's good. Oh, that does nothing to me. We should be able to win then. I'm just gonna Iron Head it up. And it's game. That was a really good switch on mine without even wanting to predict the switch. So that's that played well in my favor. And then here comes this beautiful Clayrex with the Glass Rider. Two abilities. Here comes the Innerve and then the basically Moxie. All right, I'm gonna Iron Head here, and that should be game. That should be game. Man, it feels good to win with this team. Feels really good to win with this team. Man, I need to iron my shirts. It's all wrinkly. It's very wrinkly. This is game. Come on. I don't think you have a chance of winning this anymore. 
Because Noivern does not one-shot any of my Pokemon with any of its attacks. So it's game over. Because the Iron Head should be able to knock out. No, I forget 252 HP is weakness policy. Nice, nice. What are you going to do? Trick Room. All right, now I'm a bit scared. Now I am a little bit scared. I do want to say Playrex. Uh, what I'm going to do, I think Guard Chomp is no good for me at this point. So I'm going to Guard Chomp. I have the rough skin, so if it hits me with an attack, um, even though if I go down, it's going to do some damage. And I'm going to try to wear this Trick Room team out. Or the, not the Trick Room team, but the Trick Room turns. I just don't understand why he didn't go uh, Clayrex sooner rather than later. All right, here comes Garchomp. Hit me with something. You're Dynamaxing. Oh, so this isn't really going to be a contact move. I think there's three turns of Trick Room. Maybe it's five. Maybe it's five. So it doesn't look like he uses Dynamax candies, and that's good for me. So Max Knuckle does come out. I should be able to take this. Oh, I barely take this. So that number, that number one wears one turn off a of Trick Room, and number two, one turn of Dynamax. So Trick Room actually has five turns. He has three turns remaining, including this one. We just don't edge. I mean, we're not going to outspeed regardless. So I'm good with that. This uh, clay rex literally just set up in my face. That's what's up. All right, Max Knuckle. Max Knuckle comes out. I think I need me and Chow still. So the Pokemon I feel I don't need is going to be the Moltres. It's going to be the Moltres. So this is turn three of Dynamax. Here, here coming up right now. I'm going to go Moltres. Moltres, and then I have the um, focus sash on the on the Mian Shell, so I should be able to, you know, come in and, and finish things off. Um, I believe he has two more turns of Trick Room, yes, including this one. Sucker Punch. That's the best thing I can do. Get a little bit of chip damage off of this thing. There you go. Now Storm is good for you. Unfortunately, I'm uh, weak to it. So there is that. Moltres goes down, unfortunately. And then it's me and Shao's. Oh wait, it's a ghost type. It's a, it's a ghost type Pokemon though. So I can't really do much with me and Shao, unfortunately. What I am going to do. Oh, it's a psychic type? Psychic ice? Okay. I thought that it was a different typing for some reason. I don't know why I was thinking it was a different typing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to fake out. Fake out is always the play. I should be able to win this. And I think this is last time a trick room also. So it's good. It's all good. I should be able to pick up the win. So I, I love that fade first and foremost. That fade is pretty fresh. Not going to lie. With the glasses, your, your character looks dope. I like that. He's thinking his turns very carefully. And that's what he should do, essentially. What I would do, knowing he that I'm packing fake out on this, I would withdraw. And that's exactly what he does. That's exactly what he does. So that's good for him. That's very good for him. So I'm going to fake out here. I get buffed by the hell, unfortunately. He gets buffed by the hell. We get buffed. Um, honestly... I kind of want to Espeon. Yeah, we're just going to sack off Espeon. I got the Regenerator on this thing. So no matter what, I'm putting the Fake Out pressure at full health with my Focus Sash. Even if the hail is up. All right, Hurricane hits. Congratulations, I get knocked out. So that's what he wants. That's exactly what he wants. And then I'm going to wrap this up. Here we go. Excadrill. This is a good battle. Down to the wire, too. Obviously, I'm just gonna iron head for these next two attacks and it's game Well played Well played. I'm taking his Lee card. Very good battle 
Don't try the timer stall me, please, because it's a, it's a W. It's a W Iron Head. No one goes down. He goes into the um the nigh the knee. Well, how, how do you make the horse? It's, is it nigh knee? I, I don't know how to pronounce that word. It's probably just the Mexican in me, to be honest. All right, here comes the Clay Rex and the Glass Rider. As one ability kicks in, and this game, I'm just gonna Iron Head here. I played very, very well with this team against this team. I know is, I, I is this Clay Rex Ubers? I got a feeling it's Uber, but even at that, it, I didn't even have the Dynamax to win. I'm very proud of myself. Very well played. Very well played. I beat Juice Lord. Very good. Uh, that was a really good battle. I would have won no matter what because I had the Mian Shao in the back, packing the fake out. Yes, I'm taking your lead card, but that's going to be it for this Wi Fi battle. Very good. It's not necessarily the quick, it's a, it's a very good lengthy battle. Um, but that's going to be it. Make sure that you guys leave a like if you enjoyed this Wi Fi battle. Subscribe for more Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi Fi battles. And again, just leave a like. I got a feeling the MVP for this battle. That's a hard one. I got a feeling it was Espeon. Espeon's gonna be the MVP, but you guys let me know. It's your boy Daddy Max signing off. I'll see you guys next time.